Hey, this is Cool Trains in Montreal, and I'm just showing off another one of my switchers. This is a GP9 high hood locomotive, and this is from Atlas. Now, this is the one that has the dynamic brake blister, and it's uh, very similar to the other locomotive that I have. Here, this is the same version, same locomotive, basically, except this one has no dynamic brakes. It's the standard version. So, and what's cool about these boxcars, these are, um, I forget exactly the manufacturer, it's going to come to me later, but uh, these, these boxcars have positionable doors. And so what's cool about them is that uh, you can move the doors open, shut, whatever. And um, when you have a whole bunch of boxcars, so most of them are going to be closed because they're molded plastic. So when you have a few of them open like that, it makes the train much more interesting. So I'm going to move this out. I want to show the slow speed of this. So it's a little fast right now. Let me slow it down a bit. So the blue one is a central Vermont car. And the other one is a Canadian National CN car. Now, what's really good about the Atlas mechanism is that they will allow you to do the slow speed really, really good. This locomotive has been very, very recently run in, I suppose. It hasn't been run very much. And look how decent that runs on, on this kind of track. It hasn't exactly been clean either, so really good. And it doesn't stall. Yeah, those are microtrains boxcars. So, like I was saying before, the microtrains boxcars, if you get them, you can get ones with positionable doors, which makes for a much more interesting train. And this, this uh, Atlas GP9 has a really good mechanism, and it's going to run really smoothly, especially with its mate there. So you can have the two locomotives run very well. And that's what I like about it. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal. Have a good day.